Everton won. Manchester United nil. And what else is there to be said? First of all, big up everybody. It's good to be back with myself, Cappy, and CM over there. The United Twins are back in town. Please make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. But what was that? You know, we, we've been gone. And we return and we say, you know what? I think it's time to speak up. It's time to get back to what we do best. We watched the game. CM made his notes. <laughs> you know, it's pointless saying, you know, the average ratings. Because CM does his average ratings. Puts it out on Twitter at halftime, full time. The whole team uh, on average got a below, what was it? 4.7 something overall performance. It was horrific. The whole performance was so, so, so bad. And that is the only thing we are consistent at. Bad performances. It's clear that the players, they lack direction, they lack drive, and they lack pride. And they lack the pride to wear the shirt. And when that is gone, when that is gone, what else is there to play for? We're out of every competition. The one thing we were there to fight for was top four. And we can't even do that. Can't even do that. To get back into the Champions League, play with the elites of the elites, the best of the best teams in the world, and you can't even do that. You can't even pick yourself up to do that, to succeed, to win a few games. Relegation candidates, Everton, in the mud. You've given them hope. You've given them that little smidge of hope to make them, to stop that little... <laughs> <laughs> to stop the downward spiral. This is what you do. Teams come to Manchester United for morale boosting performances, for morale boosting results. And you just had to get up and do it again. You know, I, I, I don't know why. Every week I come here with, with this newfound level of hope. I don't know why I come here every week thinking that maybe, just maybe, it will be different. Because nothing is different. When you think, when reality comes to life, when reality comes to life, nothing, not your fantasies, not your dreams, will ever come true when it comes to Manchester United. When it comes to this modern day Manchester United team, everything is downhill, everything is crushed. All your hopes and dreams, crushed. This is what this club does to you. It stresses you out time and time again. No hope, no ambition, no drive, no hunger, no nothing. They give you nothing. They give you nothing. Yo, Cappy, all right? You need some time? Yo, camera boy, cut it off now, sir. <laughs> Needs a second. Needs a second to cool down. Because I, you know, we come here every week and it's like, it's almost like a broken record. How many times have we said that? How many times have other people said it? A broken record that just keeps on scratching and scratching and scratching. This is what this club does to you. This is what this club is doing to me, doing to CM. Time and time again, all you want is to go out there and watch this team give, give it their all. Have a good performance, a good game, something for the fans to enjoy. And you can't even do that right. We have basically nothing to play for until na from now until the end of the season. Go out there and express yourselves. The pressure isn't there anymore. And for those who want to leave this club in the summer, please just get rid. Just go. Because it's clear as day that you do not care. That boy gonna run up in blood pressure now, sir. <laughs> no. It's just, it's frustrating. Because every week we come here, we say the same thing. Well, we haven't been here for a few weeks. But regardless, figure or speech, you know what I'm talking about. 
There are millions of other people that are going through the same damn thing. Same FC. This is not funny anymore, man. It's not. And I know CM's going to come here. He's going to say his little thing. He's going to try to be a bit more logical, cover more bases with all that thing. But I'm saying it from my heart. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing this. We're going to go into another managerial reign. And guess what? It's going to go wrong again and I'm calling it. I'm calling it. No optimism. No drive. No hunger. No passion. No nothing. You really think in one summer, this, this, this board's going to decide to turn everything around. Change their mentality. No. We want to win on the football pitch now. We want to make the fans happy again. They will not do that. They want themselves happy and themselves only. And that is that. <sighs> you know, you know we've been gone for so long. Some things just never change. It's not like myself and Cappy over here haven't been watching Manchester United over this period where we've been taking a break. Where I've been doing my uni work and stuff like that. We've been watching every single Manchester United game. We've been analysing the performances in the same way. And it's just going downhill week after week after week. Dead. And it gets to the point where even in our victories, and this has really been a lot of this season, even in our victories, we're not playing well. We're scraping past the finishing line. And I said a few weeks ago that I could see Manchester United making a top four and just scraping in there somehow, somewhere. But even this, this <laughs> is an uphill battle that I don't think anymore we can overcome and I wouldn't be mad at it because does this Manchester United team deserve European football no. does this Manchester United team is it even worth for this team to go out there and be in the Champions League and compete with the elite the elite clubs when we all know the outcome that's really going to happen. Pump. We can be optimistic. We can have, you know, that, that fantasy going on in our heads. We, we can have that, you know, little bit of maybe this could happen in our minds. But realistically, thinking realistically as a Manchester United fan, is that really going to happen? No. I don't think so. And, you know, I go into matches every week now and I'm not happy. I'm not excited. You know, football's supposed to be an escape. Manchester United, for me, you, Cappy, everybody around the world is supposed to be an escape. And right now, Manchester United, watching Manchester United feels like a chore. And we only, the only reason we keep coming back is because of our passion for the badge, our love for the football club as a whole. But at this moment of time, watching Manchester United, having to see Manchester United, I'm sick and tired of seeing Manchester United news. That's how bad it has got. Manchester United is a chore right now. Damn. And who's to blame? The owners up there running the club. It's a mockery. It's a joke. Employing inexperienced board members who don't know how to manage the football inside. They don't know how to scout players. They don't know how to bring in talent that actually fits with the current side. They don't know how to employ managers that actually fit, you know, an identity. They, they don't even have a set identity that they want to go down in the next few years. And that is why I do not trust this club when they speak about long-term long -term achievements. Because they do not know how to plan in the long term. It's all short-term reactions of panic quickly leading to ultimate disasters. Failure. So my question to all of you fans is, in this summer, are we going to step up whether we're in our homes, whether we're going down to Old Trafford? I, I live quay from Manchester, so <laughs> that won't be a, a thing for me. But I can talk from my yard. Are we going to make up some consistent noise? Are we going to put pressure on these owners to act? Because... If a guy like Eric Teg Hag is going to come into this club, he needs control. He needs trust. And he needs power. Which of our previous managers have had, have had sorry, any of that? Not Ole, not Mourinho, not Van Gaal, and definitely not David Moyes. 
So what is really going to happen? And my question to you owners and board members is, are you finally going to start making a right decision by the club and by the fans? Because you have constantly let this club down. Let us as fans down who come week in, week out and support this club, whether it be watching on television or uh, going to the matches. We support you every week and you give us nothing back. What are you going to do to fix this mess that you, you are the sole cause of? And yes, there are the players to blame as well, who were here before, who are here now. Players, everybody is to blame for this mess. Because what we see on the football pitch still isn't good enough. Lacking basic things like effort. There are some technically sound players in that team and they are looking like dirt right now. But hey, come on man, we see what this football club is. We see the toxic culture that's been building year after year after year. And we need to start from the top to make sure that everything going down is going to improve. Because everything starts from the top. If we ignore that, then the same things are going to continue to happen again and again and again. Kind of like what's been happening these last few years. It's like a manager, get a new manager, optimism, spike, and then it all, it just, everything falls down. It all falls down, brethren. So what are we going to do about it? Let me, Cappy, know in the comment section below how you're feeling about Manchester United and what this club needs to do to get back to success, get back to winning trophies, you know, any kind of trophy at this point in time, Premier League contention, Champions League, FA Cup, what does this club need to start winning trophies on a consistent basis again? Everybody please drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, it's good to be back and I'll see you lot soon. Bit Cut! Finally, long time. Good ship wife. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rape you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.